We're going to continue to solve problems that involve rates. Uh, again, there are many, many, many ways to solve problems involving rates. So your goal is just to read the question, understand the context, and solve it in a way that's meaningful and understandable to you. Uh, we will get into some techniques that are useful. Uh, so problem A, or part A here, says uh, Paula is asked to order snacks for an office meeting of 180 people. She decides to order dessert squares, which come in boxes of 24. She estimates that she will need two and a half squares per person. How many boxes should she buy? Uh, so this question, uh, what I would first of all do, and this is, a, again, amongst many different ways of doing it, is find out how many squares in total that she needs. So if she has uh, 180 people times two and a half each, that means that she's going to need 180 times 2.5. She's going to need 450 squares. Now, if the question said, how many squares does she need, we are done. Uh, but this question is saying, how many boxes should she buy? So the last thing we know is that uh, the boxes come in 24. So what we could do is divide the number of squares by how many there are per box. So if we take 450 squares divided by 24 per box, we will have the number of boxes in this case. So 450 divided by 24, we have 18.75. So in this case, because of the context, she can't buy 0.75 of a box. We should round up and say she should buy a total of 19 boxes. All right, uh, one more problem. Uh, Jeff lives in a town near the Canada-US border. The gas tank of his truck holds about 90 liters. He can either buy gas in his town at $1.06 per liter or travel across the border into the United States to fill up at $2.86 US per gallon. Uh, we'd like to answer the next question mathematically. Should Jeff fill up his truck in Canada or the USA? And the exchange rate on this given day uh, is $1 US is equivalent to $1.2 Canadian. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this problem. So let's look at Canada. Uh, we'll do Canada in red, and we'll do the USA in blue. All right, so there's two different gas prices. Uh, Canada, we know that the cost is $1.06 Canadian. Per one liter. Uh, in the USA, what we know right now is that it costs $2.86 US in order to buy one gallon. So for these problems, we have to at some point get uh, the same type of unit. So either Canadian dollars per liter or American dollars per gallon. It doesn't matter how we do this. It's completely up to us. Uh, what I'm going to do is, because I'm Canadian, I'm going to convert the American into Canadian dollars. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, since we know that one American dollar is a dollar two Canadian, I could just take that 286 and I'm going to multiply it by a dollar two. So I'm just converting the US money into Canadian money. So uh, the two dollars and 86 cents in Canadian dollars on this given day is $2.92. So it would cost us $2.92 Canadian in order to purchase a gallon of gas. All right. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is convert that gallon of gas into liters. And we know that a gallon of gas is 3.79 liters. Okay. Uh, so at this moment, we know that it costs $2.92 Canadian in order to purchase 3.79 liters of gas. We're getting much closer. So at this point in time, we know uh, in Canada, it's $1.06 for a liter. In America, it's $2.92 for 3.79 liters. So the last thing I would do is to compare. Uh, I would use a unit rate. So if I divide by 3.79, the cost in the liters, I'll get the cost per liter. So 2.92 divided by 3.79 is roughly 77 cents. So at this point, we have that the cost in America is 77 cents Canadian per one liter. So we can compare them now because we have the same units and the numerical value of the second unit is the same. So would you, it says, should Jeff fill up his truck in Canada or the U.S.? Well, it's $1.06 Canadian per liter in the Canada and it's 70 cents, 77 cents Canadian per liter in America. So I would say generally he would like to go to the States. This is better 
But if he only needs to buy three liters of gas, he probably shouldn't waste his time in crossing the border and going to the States. So if he's got an empty tank, he should go to the United States of America. If he only needs a few liters, he might want to stay in Canada and not waste his time uh, or gas getting to the States. Uh, so in the next lesson, we'll be looking at the next example.